Welcome to Pritchard's Proper Vegan Cooking. And today, if you haven't guessed, I am going to be making hummus. But not the kind of hummus you buy from the shop, which is already made. You're gonna make myself from scratch. And by the way I'm dressed, you all know it's all quite big in the Middle East. I've got myself a big bag of dried chickpeas. Uh, and basically, I'm gonna stick them in there. I'm gonna put some water. Overnight, they're gonna soak. And then tomorrow, I gotta boil them until they're soft and ready to squash. Depending on how much hummus you want to make, depending on how many chickpeas you want to use. With chickpeas, you can either go and get them in a tin, they're already done, ready. Just all you have to do is drain the salted water that they come in, squash it all up and uh, make your hummus with that. Or you can go to a proper health food shop like I did, Spice of Life, which I'm going to be in Cardiff, and you can buy the dried chickpeas, which, which are the good ones, and they'll soak overnight and they'll obviously they'll expand overnight and get bigger and then cook them in some salted boiling water. So, pretty easy really, I'm just gonna put some water over these. Just keep an eye on them. And by tomorrow, fingers crossed, they should almost be near the top. Obviously, yesterday you saw me put in the chickpeas, soak in water. I literally came down this morning, forgot to film it, but they'd literally almost like popcorn come up the top of the, uh, the glass. So I put them in water, I boiled them, and they're lovely and soft, and they taste absolutely delicious. Let me just get them for you here. These are what we were left with. The difference in taste compared to uh, the ones from the tin, I just, it's just so much better. So today, hummus, we've got the chickpeas, we've got tahini paste, which is basically this sesame seeds crushed down into a paste. We've got the zest of a lemon, and we've got lemon juice, and we've got some extra organic virgin olive oil, and then we'll start, blend and then we start blending them all up. In this food blender, pretty easy, but it's a lovely dip, and of course, we're gonna add to that some Roasted garlic, which I've already roasted, and it's nothing better than roasted garlic. If you roast garlic and you actually eat it straight from the pulp, it doesn't give you garlic breath in the morning. Right, we're going to put this into the food blender. Get some tahini paste. I'd say two and a half dessert spoons. Then we're going to add the roast garlic. So basically, just push the pulp out. Oh, smells lovely. Even though I've got roast garlic in there, but just to give it a little bit more taste, I'm going to add a, just a little clove of garlic. Uh, and we need the zest and juice of one lemon. Again, like the limes, do not get the white stuff because it's bitter. Just get the yellow. That should be enough lemon zest. Juice this lemon up with this posh little uh, contraption. So you get all the seeds in. Well, that is the daddy, that is. Add a little bit of olive oil. Well, <laughs> I'd help if we put the power on. Right, let's go. Right, basically, I'm looking for. I mean, you've all bought you've all bought hummus in uh, supermarkets, so I'm looking for that kind of consistency. Just add a little bit more olive oil, just to make it a little bit, a little bit wetter. This seems pretty good. Oh, it smells! That smells absolutely delicious. Again, there's a lot of protein in chickpeas and they taste absolutely banging. Serve with a bit of olive oil. Sprinkle with some, sprinkle with some chia seeds. Ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. Pritchard roast garlic hummus sprinkled with chia seeds. That is an absolutely perfect dip for tortillas or raw carrot, uh, celery. Recipes at the bottom. Enjoy, get dipping, cook it up and dip your tortillas in.